Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be trying on an entire face of exclusively Maybelline products, some old favorites and a bunch of new that I have actually never tried before. So this is gonna be kind of a mixed match. We'll talk about some things that I've tried in the past that didn't work for me from Maybelline. So like a little element of favorites and hate it's as well. And let's just kinda, let's dive right in. Um, that's this, this is for a later date. This is uh, Wet n Wild. They have loose powders. Since when? I just was at the drugstore and I was like, usually I see everything online and I'm like, um, I hadn't seen this, so we need to try that too. Another time. CoverGirl concealer. Uh, clearly I have issues when I go to the drugstore and shop for makeup. I went there exclusively for Maybelline, but I was just like, D -d 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 -d. so let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to do a new at the drugstore? Do you want specific things like new concealers, powders? Let me know what you guys want. I'm happy to deliver. You know, I make videos for you guys filming them. Always. I want them to be like kind of enjoyable for me too. It's fun for me to film these, but the main goal is that you guys are happy with my content here. So always feel free to leave me requests requests. And I'm going to remind you before we dive in to ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, that's it for updates. Let's jump in. Isn't this cool? They have a new setting spray. We have concealer. I got some of these. Now I've used this in the past as foundation. Wasn't the biggest fan, but when I was standing in CVS, in my mind, I was like, I want to do my technique where I do concealer. I do a little cream contour and then foundation. And this foundation, the Urban Dream Cover, it feels like it's gonna be similar to the It Cosmetics, the one with the SPF and the bajillion million claims and ingredients. This kind of has the same type of a thing as far as it being protecting from pollutants, antioxidants, good for the skin, SPF, full coverage, lightweight, goes on like a moisturizer, like that whole thing. It feels like a dupe for It Cosmetics. And I think the formula being that it's the same like that might look nice on top of the whole contour schmontour, it's natural, natural type of a thing. You know, the, the JLo Scott Barnes thing, we're gonna do it. I got a contour shade, like I got darker shades so I could specifically contour. I hate the sponge that's on the top of those, but mm, can't win them all. I got some new Maybelline color tattoos. You guys, this used to be my favorite thing in the universe. The color tattoos were like, they were it for me. I would just smear it all over the lid and think that I was just like, yes, I look like, expert level. And it was just fast, quick makeup. And when I saw these on the new display again with different colors, I was like, yeah, we need to revisit it. So we're doing that. I have a setting powder. I have a blush. They have bronzer. I had not ever tried this bronzer. It's been out for a minute, I think since late spring, but you guys know I love the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter. So I was like, well, different product kind of Looks the same? I don't know. In my mind, I was like, they're both in a circular packaging. It means they're gonna be great. That makes no sense. Let's hope it works out. We're gonna first start out with a little master prime. This is a blurring and smoothing because in my world, when you prime, you really have high expectations that border on being completely unreasonable and you want it to blur, smooth, apply the makeup for you sing you to sleep at night. You know, like I want my primer to be all things. Ooh, I need to stop talking on my phone like this, or I need to do a better job of cleaning my phone. I just realized, I was like, oh my gosh, like my skin is clear and good. Thank you, Halo Beauty. Let me plug my own product for a moment. Halo Beauty, hair, skin, and nails. I'm actually still taking Kiwi. A lot of you guys ask that all the time. You're like, do you take the pink pill or the green pill? The pink one is for hair, skin, and nails. I love Kiwi because I'm all about skin and I my nails grow really, really fast on their own. So I take Kiwi and then of course the multi. But recently I'm like, my skin looks so good. I feel like everything is really great, except for I keep getting a couple of breakouts right here. It's because of this. I am convinced. I'm gonna do a better job cleaning my phone, but I do this and I like smash my phone up to my face. Anyone else do this? Am I alone? I can't be alone. Moving on, that felt nice. Like this didn't do as much of a fill as say the Tarte blurring primer that really just smashes stuff into your pores and just like smooths everything out. But this feels a little more lightweight. It's of course a dimethicone base. It's got glycerin in it, non-oily formula. Won't clog your pores. Visibly blurs tones. Right, 
whatever. Okay, we're moving on. We're gonna get right into this foundation. Do I wanna do this? Usually anything with SPF kind of makes me break out. I recently bought like this geeky hat from Nurse Jamie's. Like it's an, a UV shield. <laughs> It's the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your life. But I am very, very committed to not getting the sun on my face. If I'm outside, like I was playing outside with my sister and the kids and all of that, I wish I had had that because I felt like I was outside with like so much SPF and I still had like my little freckles kind of like come through. So I got this hat because usually you guys, if I do the sunscreen thing too much, not good. Not good for me. Okay, I just wanna match myself a little bit before I get into like the super hardcore contour. Nope, she's delusional. Okay, that's not it. This feels nice, I like that. Right, right? And we'll just go in with classic ivory, but first we are gonna go in and contour with the super stay. And this is in the shade. What are you? What is your name? Oh my gosh, it is right on the top. <laughs> Uh, this is 360. My brain is not with me today. Okay, we're gonna rewind further. We're gonna do a little brightening action first before the contour, because that's usually the better way to get a good result. I mean, you can do either or, it doesn't really matter that much. But I am gonna go in with an old favorite. This is the Neutralizer. This is the Age Rewind. I love this. Like, I think I will love this one forever. It's been one of the few items that has always had a place in my collection and just stays in a drawer, whether I'm really, really into it or not. It's just one of those, hi, I know everything about beauty. Learn from me and you will see, subscribe. I always am amazed at like literally how crazy I look when I do this. But what I was getting at is this is just one of those items that from the very, very get go of my channel has stayed a favorite and there are not that many items that have, you know, I'm always trying new things. So it's really impressive to have something from the drugstore be this incredible. It's really, really yellow based. They do have different shades. This is the neutralizer. It's my personal favorite. Not everyone wants this kind of a brightening situation, but I like this neutralizer tone. I find it super brightening. And it's super full coverage, but it does not bunch up. And that's something I have always loved about this formula. Also, this was like the pre-shape tape, shape tape, you know? Okay, I didn't think I needed a sponge, but... All right, I don't know how I'm feeling about this primer. I just feel like my forehead feels dry and it's usually not like that. We're gonna go into contour. I'm gonna use my very favorite contour brush at the moment. This is the All Night Long 109 Lux Face Paint Brush from Zoeva. There is something about this brush that is really, really good for contour. The shape on this one is nice. The blend that you get is so nice. Wow, this product really stretches. I have only dunked my brush in once and I feel like it's wanting to do the entire face. This is crazy. Okay, so lately I do this thing with my contour where I go a little bit wider with one shade and then I take something more precise like this brush right here, which is a Luxie brush. This is the Jade and Luxie collaboration. And now I'm gonna go into the slightly deeper shade and I'm going to just take it on this guy right here. This is how we're gonna do lips today. Now we'll go just kind of more precise. And with contour, sometimes it's better to press in and do a stippling motion over rubbing the product everywhere. All right, I am going in with the shade 120 Classic Ivory, and I am going to take a Scott Barnes 6'8 brush, and we're just gonna start on the neck. I'm wearing a bodysuit underneath this. It's not my bra. I'm not flashing you, I promise. I promise. Okay, modesty. Woo! 
I can smell that SPF from a mile away right now. Oh my. I like to kind of do a stamping motion once I get up to the contour. And this whole technique just kind of helps it all to blend together, but it's interesting because not all products work well with one another. Like they're not all of them want to be friends. Like you have to be careful with what you're using when you're doing a cream contour and a foundation on top. This feels like it's blending really nice. The only thing that's concerning me is that heavy SPF scent. It's an SPF 50. Nothing wrong with that, I'm just saying. This is nice. What? Really, Maybelline? Dang. I'm kind of amazed at like how well this all blended. Okay, so moving on from there, I wanna crack into this Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I feel like I've tried this before and forgot because I try so many products. Sometimes I'll sit down here and I'll be like, oh my gosh, wait, I'm having a flashback. Let me rifle through the 2000 videos that I've made. Did I like this? Did I not? I feel like I didn't like this. Let's see. Your mood can change with the style of makeup that you do. So let's just see how we feel. This is the Fit Me Powder. It's a loose finishing powder. I love, like capital L, love this powder. It is so good to bake with. It does not grab or bunch. It is one of the best from the drugstore outside of Cody Airspun. I just feel like giving this area of my face right here, nowhere else, just a little extra something. Actually, I just lied. I'm gonna go in the corners of the mouth too. I feel like this helps creasing when I do just there. Okay, moving on. Let's bronze up the face a tiny bit with this City Bronzer in the shade 200. We're gonna go like full luxury in here and take a Tom Ford brush and just kind of pat this on the perimeter and really kick up some of that nice warm contour we have going on. I like a warmer contour. Some people really wanna play up the idea of contour being a shadow. And that's fine too. I mean, I used to be into that as well, but I don't know when it's nice outside and sunshiny and I'm in that sunshiny bronzy mood, I actually think a warmer toned bronzer can look really, really nice. Okay, let's put on some brows. Now, the thing I have to say about Maybelline brows is usually they get it wrong. I have never tried this one, so I'm just kind of keeping my fingers crossed because I like everything else so much so far that it goes on nice. Oh my gosh, it's not going on bad. Thank you, God. Just a lot of the products that they make are so hokey pokey and weird that they just don't work. It's like a chalk powder, a chubby pencil, a micro tip three prong applicator, a this, a that. They do have a new pomade. I don't really want to use it right now because I'm not wanting to do like ultra brows. I did that the other day and I was just like, oh my God, what have you done? Like it was just too much. With this one, I am gonna take the little tip on the other end, which has some brow powder on it and see what happens. It's actually surprisingly not bad. Huh, not bad. I mean, this is not my absolute, absolute favorite, but it's a quick, clean, natural brow. I like that. Uh, let's move in to a little bit of the shadow. We're gonna do like nice, easy, simple, kind of matching the dress that I'm wearing, just kind of like not too overdone. So I'm just gonna use these two colors right here. I'm first gonna go in with high roller. And the nice thing about these is you really can just use your fingertips. You don't need to prime. It's kind of like a built-in primer already. So you can just kind of slide this right over the lid and it's just kind of like, bam, like a little bit of color, a little bit of something. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter one now and layer, which the nice thing with these is they do layer quite beautifully. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on a different finger. I'm gonna focus a little more on the inner corner, pull halfway through and then just kind of pat. Okay, I'm gonna sweep off my bake. Let's rosy up the cheeks. I'm gonna take the Fit Me in the shade pink. It's literally just pink. And I'm going to focus right up on the apple of the cheek, a little bit high.
Now I'm ready for a highlight, which this is such a beautiful highlighter. Every time I wear this, I get compliments and people are like, what are you wearing? Oh my gosh, I love your highlight. And I'm always like, drugstore, go now, you need this. Like it's just a beautiful, beautiful highlight. They have different shades. This one's my favorite. She's got like a nice soft pink type of a tone, but it's not overly icy. So I really love that. Now we need some lips and I really love the Maybelline automatic lip pencils. They do dry out pretty quickly. I will say that that kind of sucks, but they won't break the bank. It's not like you're spending $30 on a lip liner. So keep that in mind, but make sure you have the lid on these cause they will dry out. So beautiful, oh my God. I'm gonna go in it too. I'm gonna show you my favorite shades. I'll put in an insert with swatches. I've cleaned out my collection. I'm hanging on to these guys right here. I'm gonna go into Beige Bear and kind of pat this on the lip. Gorgeous, gorgeous nude. And I wanna to top that with a gloss, so I'm gonna go in with Unreal. I picked up a brown of the Lasting Drama, woo, Lasting Drama Gel Liner. Now this is a favorite of many, many years. The thing is I've always gone for black and recently I don't know what's happened. I just like natural makeup a little bit better these days. And I find that a brown liner, even gel, is super flattering. It's just a little bit softer. So I'm just gonna go in really lightly just to frame the eye up a little bit, but it's not gonna look super harsh cause it's brown. Okay, I'm really not loving the brush that it comes with, but we were able to work it out, so it's fine. I do wanna share with you guys one of my all time like holy grail favorite single shadows from Maybelline that's literally $3.99. You can find it on sale also because Maybelline seems to always go on sale. This is the shade, the Glow Down. I've used this as highlight in the past. I've used it, of course, as eyeshadow. Look at that, are you kidding me? Is that not so stunning? Oh, that just like pulled the whole thing together in such a beautiful way. I wanna add a slightly lighter gloss. I'm gonna take the shade Tease. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. Just right there. I'm loving this look. You guys, this foundation is really, really nice. I'm hoping that it doesn't make me itch in a few hours. I will update you in the description box below with how it wore. But all I really have left to do now is pop on a little mascara and set the face. I'm gonna use this new Snap Scara. It goes on in a snap and off in a snap. Uh, it might smear in a snap, we'll see. Actually a much different one than what I had imagined. This is in like a plum color too which because I'm not doing heavy on the eyes and I'm not wearing falsies, I think that could be fun. This is layering really nicely. And the color of it is this like deep plum that is actually very sophisticated and super flattering. Okay, I kind of goofed up on the lower lash line. I'm gonna have to fix that, but I feel really good about this look, like the whole look, shockingly. I'm kind of shocked. It did not take me really much effort, much time. The foundation looks so good. The stick foundation that in the past I didn't like all over the face, I'm gonna keep using that for contour because you guys, it blended in just like, like it did the work for me. I love it when I find things at the drugstore that perform just as well as high end and that can happen. And that's why I wanna bring back these videos where we zero in on one brand. If you guys let me know what you wanna see specifically, I'm happy to do that. Maybe Wet n Wild, maybe CoverGirl. Um, just let me know. And the last thing I'm gonna do before I bounce out of here, woo! I'm gonna set the face and have a really good makeup day. This is the new Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. I love the bottle. This says it will keep your makeup on for up to 16 hours. We'll see about that.
All right, you guys, there we have it. A full face of drugstore makeup, exclusively Maybelline. I used nothing else but Maybelline, and I am wowed because this is perfect summertime makeup, in my opinion, and I really love it. I feel good, glamorous, but not too overdone, and there are some definite new favorites here. The bronzer's great, the foundation's great. Even the setting powder that I thought I didn't like, really, really nice. So I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Okay, so this was not gonna be a full day wear test. I am running around like a crazy person. I've had meeting after meeting after meeting, just doing a bunch of halo stuff, doing a bunch of work stuff, not making my bed. Just didn't think I would have time to do check-ins, but you guys, this foundation is bananas. This is bananas. This is like, like it's kind of collecting a little bit on the nose. We can see that, right? You can see this is the area where I've been doing the phone thing as mentioned. The rest of my skin looks smooth. Oh my gosh, my postage thing is in the, ignore that. Ah, hi, <laughs> but my foundation looks great. It's now been like five hours. I've been out of the house in the sunshine, feeling protected with that SPF 50. It has not made me itch. I'm just going like, please God, please God, please God, please God, because everything right now is freaking me out. Like literally I come home and I literally took off my, I'm still married. Um, I have to take off my rings right now because even like rings are irritating me. I'm just going through like a thing where she's extra sensitive, like emotionally, my skin, reaction to jewelry. Let's be even more random. These ones right here, Jenny Bird, I just picked these up. I just picked these up. I just picked these ones up and they do not give me a reaction so far. Anyway, you don't need to know all that. But my point is, can my skin look like this like every day? Like every day? This is so nice. It does not look like I'm wearing anything. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. It doesn't look oily, but it just looks like, hello, perfect skin. Yes. I'm into this. I love it. Also, the lip combo is awesome. Maybelline kills it with lips. The shadow looks great. That's what I love about those long wear cream shadows is you kind of swipe them on and you set it and forget it and you're good. So this is like the ultimate natural budge proof drugstore makeup look. I love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.